I'm just glad that I was able to finish out the season second and congrats to Colton on the championship. A true professional right Yeah, honestly coming into this weekend, uh, especially having that two week or uh, that weekend off, it was like it was crazy. It was, I, I've never felt that much nerves in my life. Uh, I wouldn't show up to my wife or anything like that. Nobody probably knew, but uh, just uh, trying to get this sixth championship really meant a lot to me. Uh, beat my great friend there, John Law. I can now call him five times. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just super. 
super stressful coming in and uh, had a great ride that first moto and then second moto I wanted that went bad but uh, started tightening up in the middle of the moto there and uh, the nerves got the best of me and then finally pulled got by me and then I, I started riding a little bit better but uh, by that time it was a little bit too late but uh, man what a career and uh, oh, I'm just so stoked to get my sick. Yeah, it's definitely tough uh, just through injuries through the season. It's hard to stay healthy and, uh, you know, I kept the red plate every single round and that was my goal and uh, finished it out. So uh, I couldn't be happier. Got to get it up to the whole Honda Canada, GDR, Fox, racing, uh, Joe Fiat at SSS. Uh, my bike's been working amazing all year. Uh, Proven Motors, um, Atlas, uh, Matrix, um, Easy Clean, uh, my wife, of course, for putting up with me and, uh, <laughs> can't thank her enough. She's uh, she's my better half for sure, and uh, I wouldn't be able to do it without her. And uh, it means a lot to finish my career here. Um, I proposed to her here, and uh, yeah, it definitely means a lot. Um, like I said, I really like to get that win, but uh, you know, happy with second place, and uh, I can. Uh, that was that was Phil's uh, fare farewell gift. Uh, he beat me the last time I rode. Beers on Phil tonight. That's how it's going to work. One more time. Your sixth time. Seriously, guys, come on. Let's all just smart up for that second, that moment. Just take that second and all soak it in. Because right now, we are giving tribute to a, a Canadian icon, a hero. Okay? In 2002, I said this actually on the TV show today to Kyle. I actually didn't realize, realize until I actually said this. Myself and this rider joined our rookie status. I was doing TV interviews, and this guy decided to go on the racetrack. Right? The, KTN, uh, the Kawasaki team at the time, they, they, took a, they took a risk. They thought there was something in. It was 899 on his bike. Worst number ever. Worst number ever. It took a lot of years before the plan decided to figure itself out. Then he admitted that it was ready. This guy, 2002, couldn't pull it together. Lots of years down the road, couldn't pull it together. Finds a team, runs into JSR, one of the other iconic Canadian heroes. Figures it out. He listens. He listens. He feels what he's believing in. He knows what's going on. The team and him, they're clicking. A couple bad years, a couple injuries. Then he bumps into one of his best friends of all time. Gets on the Honda. Finds the groove. Gets back to that status of that iconic, that feeling where you get on the track. And every racer in here knows that when you're right there, you're like, I am so goddamn badass. I'm going to kick everyone's ass today. Well, this guy kicked everyone's ass six times in the series. GDR Fox, now six-time Canadian champion. I think everybody needs to stand up. Because you forgot one I 
five. And these guys get the shotgun together. Yeah, oh. That was kind of a hug. One more time. Six time. The top ten in the 450 class. Stab it, Cole. That's it. Get it in India. Shotgun your bears. It's a celebration.